water storage and conveyance. Welcome to my village. Msungu, msungu. Ah, what a greeting. Thank you. Now, here we have different ways to collect and store our water. First, come look at our way upstream. I now see why you were familiar when I asked earlier. You put materials such as rocks to raise the water level in the river to facilitate pumping to the farms downstream. Now, you said the closest dam is in Sondu. Yeah. What is the difference? Weirs differ from dams because they do not store the water behind the barrier. The bottom of the dam is usually made of clay or rock to collect the water. Useful in more dry and arid areas where riverbeds are likely to dry up. Although no dams are close by, here at home we store water in a tank. Oh, what does it look like? Ours is made of plastic, but I've seen some made of stone, concrete, metal sheets, and rubber. We cover the tank to make sure it does not get contaminated, but still need to clean it regularly to ensure the water is usable. We fill our tank with rainwater, but my neighbors pump the river water into theirs. Ah, pump, pump, pump it up, you say? Pumping, like lifting the water from one point to another by the use of mechanical force? Of course, yes. The main one in the village is a semi-rotary pump. They are manually operated and pump enough water for domestic and livestock use. Any engine pumps around? Uh, yes, there are a few around. These pumps have pistons moving back and forth to push the water through the pipe. Since they do not pump a lot of water, they are used for domestic and livestock, like the semi-rotary. Ah, the reciprocating pump. Any other engine types you can think of? Um, I think the farm down the road. This one has metal discs with blades that rotate at high speed. They are much more powerful and pump large quantities of water, which is why I think it is used on the larger farms. Ah, the centrifugal pump. Yes, used on large farms indeed. Now, I'm guessing you have never seen a high drum. High drum? <laughs> Not a high drum. A high drum is a pump operated by the force of flowing water. Faster flowing means greater pumping. This is useful in sloped areas to pump small amounts to considerable heights with the use of pipes. Pipes are useful for the conveyance of water. We commonly use plastic pipes. The advantage is they are cheaper and easier to install. But I bet they break under high pressure and more likely become brittle due to the sun and pest around. Exactly. We sometimes can afford hose pipes. You know what that, those are? Hose pipes are mostly made of rubber or plastic. They are more expensive than plastic pipes but more durable. Now, any metal pipes around? Uh, in town mostly. They're made of galvanized iron and aluminum. They're much more durable, but also much more expensive. But the main way in the village we transport water is by containers. Yes, I do see a lot of bicycles carrying jerry cans. On the Matatu coming here, I also saw a few canals. Those are useful for moving water from high to low point. Oh, sorry about that. Just let me answer this phone call. No problem. 